Blog Show. Blog Show. Welcome to the Blog Show. I'm Jamie Mottram, joined as always by Dan Steinberg, and this is our 20th episode and final one before Labor Day weekend. So we're going to take a look back at the summer of blog. Yeah, and this is what's known in the sports blogging television industry as a concept show. And the concept, I guess, being that we can reuse all of our old material while adding pithier commentary this time. We get to make the rules because we are the entire sports blogging television industry. That's right. The summer is usually a little bit slow in the kind of sport in the sports world, I guess, but it was very fast-paced in the sports blogging world. And we're going to start off with our blogging man of the summer. That would be Brady Quinn. Yes. Now, Brady Quinn, I think, has sort of become like the Gilbert Arenas of the NFL, the Barry Bonds of the NFL, you know, kind of a blogging hotspot. Yes, he is a blogging touch point. And speaking touch of touch point. points, it all started earlier this summer when Deadspin found some photos of Brady Quinn touching on his friends a little bit, as you can see on your television screen. And his friends were touching him as well, <laughs> but they were just kind of being friendly. It was reciprocated. And there was also some goofy photos from his ex, uh, from his sister's now husband, A.J. Hawk, at A.J. Hawk's wedding. The wedding album was revealed online, and the big lead picked up those photos of Brady Quinn dressed as a YMCA Village People member. Yeah, he looked nice. And then at Mondesi's house, a Pittsburgh sports blog. Thank you very much. Found some pictures of uh, Quinn flexing behind Brett Michaels. Yes, and Brett Michael, a Steelers fan. So, you know, Brady now playing for the uh, the rival Browns. Right. Yeah, so I didn't know that. That actually. was just another little small, yeah. I As totally a professional blogger, I know these little things. I totally missed that. And then the big lead also found some more Brady Quinn pictures. There's just pictures of him all over the internet. And he was smiling and partying. These were from drunkathlete.com or drunkathlete.net. Yes. So apologies like to Gilbert Arenas, Joe Kim, Noah. Brady Quinn is our blog show summer icon. And let's move on to the next uh, you know, can, topic. Can I ask you one more question about Summer Brady Quinn? I, can I ask you one more thing about Brady sure, Quinn before shoot. we move on? I think that at some point, if he becomes a successful NFL player, maybe all these pictures make him kind of more popular. At this point, I think people are sort of laughing at him. But if he becomes if he becomes a, a strong quarterback, maybe people are laughing with him. I'm laughing with him right now. He's my NFL Rookie of the Year without taking a snap. Awesome. But let's move on past icons to what was the summer in hair. Now, we are also, you know, I, I'm a great admirer of, of hair. You obviously are not so much. Uh -huh. But I think our favorite Hold hair... Up. Of the, sea, of the summer was from Drew Gooden with the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA playoffs. He sported, as Fan House's Tom Ziller dubbed it, a neck stash. Yeah, it was a little weird patch of hair on the back Yeah, of some head. people call it duck tail, but I like the neck stash a lot better. Yeah, and, and I, guess, I guess later on, uh, a beat reporter for the Contra Costa Times said that, uh, according to a source... According to a source close to the player, it was like flypaper for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Elsewhere in blog show, summer hair fashion, there was, in the NBA as well, Andrew Bogut, who sported what I think you tried to pass off as a rat tail. That's what I thought, But it was yeah. elevated up on the top of the back of the head, more like a Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh, Full Court Press had some photos of Andrew Bogut's tail thingy, and that really was uh, a rival for Drew Gooden's next dash. And just at the end of the summer, as the NFL, as the NFL season got started, we looked at some, some great photos of NFL hair on the right. fan house. New hair, whole off-season of growth and styling. Oh, I like Nick Reed's hair. We talked about that last week. I haven't even heard of Nick Reed. Now, huge fan. I still don't really know who he is. Jeff Reed, the, the kicker for the Steelers. More of him in a minute. Massive hair. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, hometown hero Chris Cooley and his haircut. All that, that hair that you're seeing on the screen was from 2006, I must admit. All right, but moving past hair, let's talk about athletes who are partying this summer. Summer's, summertime is a good time to get out, go to the bars. Well, this is what I was going to say. It's kind of the athlete pastime of the summer. And I like to think of it more as singing than partying. Yeah, but it's still, still competitively. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's, you know, it's instilled in them deeply. Singing with Jeff Reed, who we just mentioned. Deadspin also has these photos of Jeff Reed kind of out and about, shirtless, out and about, as so many of us like to do. But it seems to me like there's this one guy in one of these pictures who looks like he's got the open mouth. Maybe he's singing a little bit. So I like to think of this as kind of a singing picture. Oh, also. So Tony Romo, are you talking about, or in the Jeff Reed I'm talking photos? About in the Jeff Reed collection, there's that guy with the open mouth. I think he might be singing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Reed single handedly making me have respect for kickers That's everywhere. Right. And then elsewhere in the world of uh, athletes partying this summer, there was Tony Romo caught by Deadspin having a go of it at a concert, uh, but there's no audio on that. We didn't have any video of Tony Romo but The report uh, is that he was singing Bon Jovi, right? Yes, and I think, yeah, was it Living on a Prayer, Something perhaps? Like okay, that. well, you know, some other Bon Jovi classic, I'm sure. Uh, but we actually did have video of Shane Battier one-upping Romo. Here's the former Duke forward out at karaoke night. And that excellent Battier video was via our friends at Fan House. And it is a shame that we had no videos or photos of athletes or coaches partying at Dewey Beach this summer. Like we had Gary Williams partying down with some buffalo wings and some ladies last summer. Buffalo wings in hand. There's yeah. always, you know, next summer for Gary. For Dewey Beach, possibly. Yes. There were unconfirmed, unconfirmed reports of him being at the beach this summer. But moving on, I guess, it turns out that athletes and coaches aren't the only ones who like to kind of go out and enjoy themselves. Mascots also like to do that. What would blogs be without mascots? 
I don't even want to think about it. Cancelled. Yeah, totally. So anyhow, we saw we saw mascots partying this summer. It started with the uh, Oregon Duck, the Oregon Duck mascot, yeah, kind of out with out some Eugene, some brewskis. We saw hand. that one on the end zone. Then there was also Mr. Met, who is available for uh, parties yeah. and birthdays. We saw him partying it up uh, on Deadspin.com. And then also just this week, we realized that Mr. Met's also available for weddings. And this is new material, never before, never before seen on blog show. This to me is the greatest video maybe that I've ever seen in my life. This is this is Mr. Met gone to an Indian wedding. <laughs> Once again, we saw Mr. Met at the Indian Wedding on Fan House. Yeah, and Jamie, if I could just inform you a little bit about that. I think that he was doing the banger, and banger is actually a Punjabi um, style of dance that kind of originated in the 1400s, I believe, around the Harvest Festival, originally done primarily by men, which might tip you off that Mr. Met is indeed a man. And I think now now it's maybe a bi-gender dance. But. I thought when we didn't have an intern anymore, you'd stop doing, we'd have no research. But you went out on your own and figured all this out. I was reading about Bangor today, I admit it. Excellent. And also, another new video never shown before on Blog Show. We saw this one on Say Hey. It's another mascot getting down in a break dance-off. I love how in that video that Stumper the Elephant just comes in out of left field and engages in the dance-off. I think you're saying left field metaphorically because really they're oh, yeah. in the concourse. Concourse, so yeah. Right. My favorite part is that tomato, the, tomato. Is that the uh, the top of the YouTube is like you know Jose versus Stomper. So I guess the other guy's name was Jose if you can believe the YouTubes. And I would like to argue I always that do. kind of objectively Jose was the better dancer. I think you disagree. All I know is it's the Bay Area and they were both getting hyphy. You can't argue about that. There was a lot of hyphiness involved in that, in that clip. And also we'd be remiss if we talked about breakdancing and the summer of blog and not mention the excellent breakdancing video from withleather.com earlier this summer. Inappropriate hand touching there. <laughs> where the kid gets kicked right out of the screen. One of my favorite videos of the summer. My blog. dad actually commented on that video. He was highly disturbed by the violence. So. Well, he's probably envisioning his granddaughter you know, suffering the same sad fate. Possibly. All right, well, we did cheeses of the week all summer long. We're not going to do those anymore. Maybe we'll come back with another weekly uh, you know, feature, maybe hot fitteds, maybe cheeses, after Labor Day. And we have our new blog show time. It's on the same channel, but new time, Tuesdays at 5.30 here on Washington Post Live. We're going head-to-head -head with PTI. What's that? What's PTI? Yeah. Well, it's Tony Kornheiser, which would be, you know, you, you're the Kornheiser, and then I'm, I'm the Wilbon. Oh, cool. So who would people really rather spend their <laughs> times with at 530 with Your us or this Your complexion looks two? so pale, Mr. Wilbon. <laughs> Anyhow, we'd also like to mention that we're still looking for a new intern for a blog show. These bobbleheads, I should tell you, do not get to this coffee table by themselves. <laughs> and so if you're interested in carting around bobbleheads, please email us at blogshow at comcastsportsnet.com. You can read sports blogs for credit right here on Blog Show. That's right. And I guess we're going to close today with our final YouTube of the week and of the summer. We were originally trying to show this YouTube, actually, 20 shows ago. On our first show, I pressed the play button, and it famously froze. Somehow we didn't get kicked off the show yet, but we're finally going to show you this YouTube. This is Chris Farley reenacting Christian Leitner's famous shot. Okay. I'm Christian Leitner. 1992, Duke, Kentucky. Kentucky's up by one. Christian got the ball. Two seconds left. He shoots a beautiful turnaround jumper. Off the ground! Gets his own rebound. Loose ball! Leitner goes straight to the ball! Get them! The greatest game of the century, and that's the way it happened. Blog show. Blog show. show.